Hey guys, Trine Games here, and today uh, we are going to be talking. We're going to be talking about the intern suggestions page. So we covered medi uh, medical posts in the past video, so now we're going to focus on armor. Now th this is going to be a little bit of a short video since there isn't too much to talk about, but I'll try to give as much insight and ideas or opinions of mine as much as possible. So let's begin. Modular pouches for quick hotkey access and the R reload. So, uh, I've seen yeah, I've seen a couple of videos of the new sort of a new sort of like pouch design where with the modular backpacks and stuff. And also, of course, what he means is uh, applying a sort uh, applying sort of magazine pouches on your uh, on your vest. So if you so when actually reloading, you can take out your magazine and insert into your gun faster and get back into the action. Then, uh, the second one, anti-stab armor prevents piercing damage but all, but does not in prevent impact damage. Now that seems, now, just, there isn't, you know, that like too many like melee, like melee battles, like most battles that you obviously engage in, like if you're gonna play like an Unturned 2 server are mo gonna be with guns mostly so I don't exactly see this armor being super useful unless like unless it's with uh, zo unless you're dealing with like hordes of zombies and stuff and they can't exactly you know they have like a hard time trying to like hurt you through like the anti-stab armor and stuff so yeah tiers of armor planning that uh, fully absorb tiers of ammunition AP ammo bypass to some degree now, I don't exactly have any sort of idea what the last sentence is, but this does make, but to break it down, like, uh, like a 9mm bullet, which is like a pistol round, when it gets shot at, it could be shot at like a tier 1 plate, and it could uh, absorb a lot of the damage and stuff, since it's like a small round. A larger round, like maybe a 7.62, something that would go into like an AK-47. Uh, or a marksman rifle that would probably have to like require like a stronger plating or something like military grade which is probably what the tiers for mean like tier one tier two tier three tier three would probably be like the strongest of course uh, now the fourth swap out armor plates for certain clothing blocking incoming damage wears down uh, armor plates eventually requiring replacements so, uh, interesting thing is that Warzone for Modern Warfare has this, I'm gonna, and I'm going to put up a video right now. And yeah, it shows the guy opening his, opening his tentacle, uh, his vest, and inserting one of those plates in, which means that if it, which means that if you get shot at, the plate will break, you can take that, you can take that one out and insert another one in perfectly uh, now for number five heavier armor and inventory and inventory in general affect mobility and encumbrance so like if you're like between like a light like a lightweight armor like maybe like a spec ops versus like a sort of like bulky armor like a giant like a juggernaut uh, loadout like those big like like just big overall like big piece of armor will have more protection but you will become slower, which means, uh, well, if you don't have that much mobility, it's definitely not, it's definitely not the best feeling. Usually, I'd somewhat prefer a nice balance between protection and mobility to actually complete all the tasks that I need to do. And then the last one is sectional inventory with sub uh, with subsections prevent preventing snipers in vest storages. So that probably means that like there would be only certain spots to actually store heavier weapons. Like you can't store a sniper across your chest. Maybe when you're like going prone or something. Uh, that's the only way. That's the only thing I can think of. So yeah. But anyway, thank you for participating and watching this video. Uh, Thank you for watching and bye!